The need for school provided meals in Searcy continues to grow this summer, even spiking an all time record. The Searcy School District says it's doubled the number of meals needed for students. Jessica Rank is in studio. Jessica, we're talking about hundreds of extra bags here. Yeah, Laura and Bob, the numbers may actually shock some people, but the sad reality is people just can't afford what they're used to and are now seeking help in any way they can. The sounds are few and far between at Southwest Middle, signaling summer in Searcy. But don't let the empty parking lot fool you. Inside these doors, work is well underway. It's always better to have too much than not enough. Dried cranberries and they get peaches. After 28 years, the packing process is muscle memory for Eva Boyles. But this summer, she's working overtime to keep up. There's always been a need. I guess during COVID, it just showed even more. Right now, they're packing 800 meals for kids in the district. Summers past, we probably did 300, 400 at the most. Double what they're used to. Inflation, not just groceries, but everything. And families are just in a bind for food. You know, they have to give somewhere. And if we can help them, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> There's just a need out there. You know it, but you don't realize it until you work with it. Emotions run high as these ladies work to make sure no child goes hungry. I worry about those kids when we're not in school, Christmas break, spring break, summer break. I worry because you, you know that there are kids that come to school and that's the only meals that they probably get that day. What should be a quiet campus now has a bit of noise. But workers say the extra time is all worth it in the end. Oh, it's not work when it's you see the smiles on their faces and the appreciation. It's not work. This is what we're here for. And I will say those workers are actually working overtime and not one of them complained about being there on their day off. The school district says they were awarded an extra grant from the state to help pay for those extra meals this summer. They say it's a need as educators that they can't let go unnoticed. Live in studio, I'm just crank for KRK4 News.